backs and one guy will be more of the featured guy. Has he already talked to you guys about how that process is going to unfold Saturday? Uh, right now we don't really have any idea about that. We're just out here practicing, you know, whoever gets called, you know, we're all prepared. Has he, have you guys, has he kind of tipped his hand a little bit as far as who's gotten more carries uh, in practice? Um, right now I'm not I'm really sure of anything. I'm just out there, you know, whenever my name's called or whoever's name is called, we're all prepared. Is it predetermined who's going to be in in certain situations or do you guys just kind of stand by and wait for your number to be called? It's pretty much like whoever's number is called, you know. Um, like I said, we all prepare. Uh, we all, you know, know the game plan. Uh, at the end of the day, whoever's number is called, we're all prepared and we're ready to go. And there are some sets, and some heavy sets where there are three tight ends. There's some sets when Josh is in the shotgun. Mm -hmm. How comfortable are you to be able to slide into any given formation? Um, I think it just goes back to how Coach Pete prepares us. We all get, uh, we all practice the same things, and we all prepare to do run any formation, heavy or not. You know, it doesn't matter how much we weigh or how tall we are. We're just all ready to do whatever he tells us to do. How do you guys feel about this plan? Is it is it obviously somebody's gonna get more carries than the other two and I know you guys are close as a unit yeah. how do you how are you gonna like deal with with that of somebody kind of getting that workload uh, like I said earlier this season whatever we got to do to win win and do better on the field we got to do it and I support the coaches you know with their choices and whoever they choose I know I know they'll get the job done so you know I'm in full support for it at the end of the day we prepare like I've been saying we prepare every day we got the game plan you know it doesn't matter who they choose it's going to be, you know, they're going to do a great job and they're going to step it up in the run game for us. Coach said that there were like 100 yards left on the field. Mm -hmm. um, when you guys watched the film, what was the breakdown that was not, was the was keeping you guys from getting that? Uh, it was just pretty much our eyes, you know, just kind of knowing safety fits and knowing linebacker fits and knowing how, how they play and everything. It's just, it's just things that we got to, you know, continue to get better on day by day and game by game. There are obviously advantages to having three distinct running backs who are all good at their own thing, but yeah. are, sometimes does that kind of uh, prevent one guy from getting into a rhythm? Is that a thing that happens? Uh, are there I, disadvantages to that sometimes? I think coaches do what's best for the team, and I think they're doing a great job of it so far. You know, and, uh, I never doubt the coaches. Uh, at the end of the day, if they tell one guy to go in or if they tell all three of us to go in, we're always ready to do what's, what's uh, told of us. Coach P was talking after Saturday's game that he was he just doesn't get a chance to talk to you guys as much on the sideline as he used to. Now that he's handling the entire offense, how much interaction do you have with him on the sideline compared yeah, to something in the it's past? It's pretty hard because he's an OC and being OC, your mind's kind of all over the place for offense. And uh, I understand him and he's apologized to us for that, for not being able to talk to us on the sideline. And he's promised that things will change now on the sideline, which it will help us a lot more, but it's, it's hard for him because at the same time he's coaching us, but at the same time he's coaching everybody on the offense. So it's, it's a tough job, but he's doing a great job so far. Coach Moore, I think, said that the coaching staff's kind of worked out some ways that he can talk to you guys more. Mm -hmm. have, you, have they talked to you at all about some um, of the different mechanics that might happen on the sideline? Right now, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, Coach was talking about how you, he thought that you guys did a good job of refocusing after an emotional game last week. How, 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 did, how did you mentally kind of get back in a good place to go forward and, and, and play again? Uh, pretty much we, we have how many games left? Four games? We have eight games left, so there's still a chance to get back in it. And he, Coach Moore tells us, like, to keep the taste of when we were in the tubs, you know, everyone was sad and just thinking to keep that in the back of our minds. And, and we know we know we're a good team, and we know we can do great things this year. And we're never gonna stop that mindset, or keep uh, keep. We're never gonna stop, you know, stop fighting, keep working hard. So we just keep working, pretty much. You just never stop. So like, we, like I said, we have eight games left, and we can still do what we need to do this year. The tubs meeting like the cold tubs after the game. Yeah, the cold okay. tubs. Yeah. Um. And this is like the stretch of three, three night, three late night games in mm. four weeks. Mm. How do, how do you like? Do you like those like seven thirty starts? You basically have all day to kind of get ready for the game. But I, I like it. I like playing on the lights. But at the same time, it's kind of like when we're at the hotel, we're a little antsy. We're like we're ready to go. But you know, at the end of the day, I love playing in front of the fans. So 
the lights are kind of nice. Playing night game is it's a good environment for us. What do you guys do at the Langham? What do you, what do you kind of do like all day? Uh, we we do a lot of moving around. They give us time to rest. We do a lot of walkthroughs. We we're always going through the game plan, so we're always repeating it. That way, we get in our head and we know what to do. We're not missing anything in the game. So they give us time to rest, but at the same time, we we're always going through the game plan. Coach Morris said so they like to have you guys watch some college football just during the day for passing time. Or, oh, are yeah. you one of those those yeah, guys? Yeah, I'm one like of those. Like whenever we get to the hotel Friday or Saturday, I always turn on the TV and we just have games rolling around. And kind of we kind of go through our game plan too, just like kind of reading the safeties, you know, fits and everything. We kind of try to put ourselves in their perspectives pretty much. So it's, it's a good thing to watch them. But like 7:30 games, sometimes you just get antsy after you watch like three games. <laughs> it's like it's time for us to play.